Just as the sun comes up, a team at the Fort Worth Nature Center and Refuge loads a cart with bags of produce. A few bales of hay and drives out past the woods to the prairie that appears to be empty, but clearly is not. I had food around this yesterday. It's gone. The team checks a series of wire cages spread out across the dry ground. After adding some new grass, some chunks of melon, the team is no more than a few steps away when someone new pops up, immediately setting eyes on the day's breakfast. But so far, uh, we've had a best case scenario. Acting manager Jared Wood says these are the first prairie dogs at the refuge since 2015, when a previous colony disappeared. To reestablish the animals on the eastern edge of their natural range, Wood's team traveled to Canyon near Amarillo, capturing family groups who were about to lose their habitat to a housing development. Back in Fort Worth, they drilled out short burrows and prepared those special cages at the whole entrances for protection. Any kind of predator, hawks, coyotes, bobcats could get to them. They thought it might take three to five days for the prairie dogs to start to dig their own system of tunnels. It took one. Because the bison will graze this area, keep the grass low. That allows the prairie dogs to have sight lines for predator vigilance. And then the prairie dogs in return will aerate the soil, um, also clip the grass, and we hope that it's just a, a harmonious relationship. He won't know until spring if the move has truly been a success. If it is, more relocations could be coming, hopefully making the prairie whole again.